Blender's compositor is now real time and you can read about it here, but here's the basics. You're gonna download it from this experimental branch and you open up Blender. Here's how you enable it. So go to edit, go to preferences, and then in interface, make sure you have developers extras enabled, which will let you enable the real time compositor. This is a big deal because normally compositing takes for fucking ever. And now that's not the case. So let me show you a demo. All you have to do to get this thing working is you open up the compositor, uh, we enable use nodes and anything we do in between this render layers and the composite is now going to show up here. So I'm just going to go to the uh, render view and enable use compositor. So uh, for example, very basic, let's add a blur node and you can see as I increase the blur, whoa, it's actually blurring in real time as opposed to taking two seconds to load every time I change this uh, value. Okay. Let's go to the camera view. Uh, what else can we do here? So I'm going to enable film transparent. So now we have our background removed and now let's change the background. So alpha over, put this on the top socket and now we can uh, change the background in real time. Now I should say there are some nodes that don't haven't been ported over and there's a list uh, here of the nodes that do and don't exist in real time compositor. Uh, so for example, like the glare node, it will like stop everything and not work. Uh, but we can make a lot of these uh, custom. So for example, if I wanted the glare node, all that is, is it's a blur node. And then we mix that on top of the original image using add. So you can see here is before and after. And now we have a, a real time uh, glare that works with everything depending on, uh, on the uh, amount that we blur, which I think is pretty neat. Um, we can also do mathematical operations and you know, I'm not gonna go through here and like tell you every single feature, but you know, we can add, we can run a greater than and do some kind of NPR uh, effects and you can see what that looks like in real time. Um, maybe a cool way to do that is like kind of a posterization with a snap. If I can ever find snap, I never can. Uh, we snap it to the nearest, you know, some value and that will give it really a kind of, you know, NPR look. I'm, I'm done saying NPR. Um, but yeah, compositing is now uh, real time. Maybe we can even add in a movie clip final feature. Let's add in a movie clip in the background and watch that happen in real time, hopefully. Uh, a video of me, that seems very narcissistic. Throw that in there. Of course, we need to get rid of the snapping node so we preserve the transparency. And now look, I have a video playing in real time and we can, you know, do stuff to it. Oh, transform, it's a rotated video. Very fun, <laughs> very kooky. And yeah, while the compositor is limited now, as we get more and more nodes uh, imported, especially a lot of the filter nodes, we're gonna gain more and more power. So yeah, real time compositing is a thing. Get excited.